welcome all to Yoshi Kerala's group free session in energy healing. Today is the third day. Vasara sir agreed to give this energy healing, the special session for three days. Today is the last day for the session. All are requested to attend the class in a whole. Till the end, all should be there in the class. In between, you will get a very happy news that is regarding the next course. So be with us. Now I am welcoming Basara sir to this platform. Good evening and welcome, sir. Good evening, madam. I'm taking care of the session. Thank you. Thank you. I welcome you all. So, welcome to the energy healing session. So, uh, yesterday, uh, I think uh, most of you initiated your healing. I think uh, you yield something. Continue your journey towards healing. For that, to make your healing better and more effective. So what are all the things is required, we'll discuss today. Okay. So as we discussed, energy, nothing but vibrations. And vibrations, nothing but which we create by reaching to zero and creating thought. Yes, Ujjwala, you have any question? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, yeah. uh, before three months, means today the th three months are completed, my left leg um, got the ankle injury, ligament injury to ankle. Okay. And uh, one month I uh, kept my leg in a POP and then kept bandage. Then I start to work in a while <clears throat> in uh, working or standing, I face a problem of uh, waist pain or heel pain. Now it is subsided. Little heel pain I'm getting. But now, as I try to stand or walk without crib bandage, hmm. without crib bandage, I'm getting the swelling. Previously, the swelling was getting down. Now, it's uh, after resting also, it's not uh, getting down. Little way I am observing very little change in the swelling. And it's spinning also to the UB meridian. Swelling is to uh, kidney meridian, means uh, original kidney meridian and to the UB meridian. You want to just press uh, your uh, K3 point 20 times. Okay. It will clear. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, we will uh, have question and answer session after nine o'clock. Okay, okay, sir. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So now, <laughs> finally, to make it more effective healing, your, the way you reach the zero state and the so how powerful thought you create. So that's the way your entire, the effectiveness of healing will go in this process. To make it a clear and effective thought, I told two things. 
before telling this one do it without expecting what happens after your healing a patient may heal may not doesn't bother about it your job is to just create a thought and create a energy and second most important when you are healing somebody so whatever may be the outcome expectation let it be zero your job is to just raise the zero and concentrate your thoughts and make it more intensive and you are passing to the patient that's way it works so the moment you say thought so always it is distracted with different emotions am i right to make you calm and relax and to enjoy the healing process the only thing from healer side is to make the balance in your emotions because when you are self disturbed with emotions definitely you can't take your mind to zero and create thought to overcome this we need to follow few things to make calm and relaxed mind so that you can reach zero state easier easier way and you can heal the people most effectively so how can you make your em emotions balanced so again the emotions also are divided into yin and yang you should have both for example the in emotions make you a more satisfied so that's why we call it a, a divine energy or it's correlated to the god and another evil energy it makes you a more desireful always again that day the when you are desireful that makes you that also appear but it's instant how you feel if any desire is fulfilled you feel happy no after that after few moments after few days the one more desire will create another one another one is there any end for it no because the nature of yang is like that Just keep on burning and keep on acquiring the things it's fire the another way the in energy that makes you satisfied whatever you get whatever you have and whatever you do to achieving this satisfaction is more important to achieve this satisfaction it requires a balanced in and yang for your mind it's completely 
depends on its energy through art. I'm just explaining the point with the TCM perspective. Again, this art takes energy from the uh, different organs and uh, different meridians based on this, which creates the emotions. Don't think that sometimes emotions it's responsible by us sometimes the emotions which created by the body it may be a so let's take the first example the liver and gallbladder. So, if you want to be calm and relax, again, your calmness and relaxation while healing, while meditating. It completely depends on the amount of blood which is sent by art to the mind. For example, what is the energy which is carried by the liver and gallbladder? Anybody? the energy which carries liver and gallbladder. It's a wind. The nature of wind is, which creates a momentum and force. All of you are experiencing now with the pre-monsoon rains, rains and there is a monsoon rain soon within a month. There is a lot of wind which is blowing in particular direction. Sometimes it loses direction. The wind, the primary concern of the wind is which creates the momentum. The person who have healthy gallbladder and liver, they will produce the, some constant amount of wind, the controlled wind that has some force, momentum and direction. That force, momentum and direction is given to the art to send blood to the mind. Then the person with balanced wind is completely visionary and goal-oriented and which he creates original thoughts and is always a balanced emotions, not too less, not too high. If you maintain healthy liver and gallbladder, I think you no need to meditate also. Just anybody, if anybody asks for healing over the phone or over uh, direct interaction, just you can create a thought that you can reach the zero state and you can pass the energy to the patient.
it's quite simple when when liver and gallbladder is balanced energy but this has to balance with the two things you should not trigger your liver you should not trigger your liver to increase the wind energy if it increases wind what happens which gives the force to the blood then art sends a more blood within short period of time so that creates a lot of aggressive nature in the person with that he may feel some irritation younger and it may create some restlessness because when wind is keep on flowing towards art and person is unable to stop to think continuously the thoughts are running in the mind they are unable to stop the thoughts they are unable to go to sleep they go to bed and they will get sleep at 1 o'clock they will go to bed at 10 o'clock getting sleep at 12 or 1 have you experienced this anybody it's a purely a excess wind energy simply without treating your liver many of you are taking a sleeping pills sleeping pills that makes you mind drowsy nowhere it touches your liver so to create a balanced emotions to maintain a balanced wind energy in the body one thing you should remember your liver should not be triggered in any way how get liver get triggered so that it generates more wind so it gets triggered with sore foods and it gets triggered with stress and tension again stress and tension is the by product of your desires so now is the time of mango season try to eat a complete ripened mangoes so that your liver feels happy and stomach will be healthy and that gives a lot of uh, humid energy in the body because the color is yellow or and orange it strengthens your liver and spleen and stomach but at the same time if you eat the mango with so taste definitely you end up with triggering your liver and that increases your wind in turn it increases to the aggressive emotions like irritation anger and restlessness 
it's very very important as a healer you should balance your emotions with food taking lot of sore and going for meditation it's not good the first thing reduce your stress that is only possible with the let it go nature and accepting the things and reduce the sour food avoid tamarind lemon and unripened fruits so automatically you can create the a balanced flow of blood to mind and it will be calm and relaxed there is another way it is a way you are triggering your liver and gallbladder hyper sometimes your liver become liver wind become too low what is the basic symptoms which you get lack of wind If the wind or force is not given to the heart to pump the blood to mind so automatically heart is unable to pump the enough blood to the mind so it becomes slow these people the first basic nature is anything any work they will delay we'll do tomorrow we'll do next hour we'll do next month next week delaying because there is no enough force there is no enough wind in the body the second most important thing because mind doesn't getting enough blood or automatically it feels foggy and unable to take decision this happens due to lack of wind energy in the body why wind is lowering in the body you may take giving a too much fried foods because uh, if you give too much oily food deep fried and genetically modified food and some chemical preservatives most of the food which comes in the packet so that simply if you are taking the here and there once in a while not a problem but most more, some people they completely depends on packet food for those people i am telling and hybrid foods fried foods and uh, heavy oily stuffs like cheese and butter and the ghee and all all these things which takes a uh, lot of time to cleanse in your body to digest also obviously it degrades the function of liver in terms liver it is responsible for creating wind energy in the body so finally you end up with the deficiency of the wind from that you lose the force to think to act so something like depressed dozy and low emotions even that is also not good in that state you can't heal the people and you can't give good and best results is yes, no you yourself in the dip how can you heal others if you try also it won't be effective 
and don't blame the technique. It works when your mind is nothingness and zero state. If your mind is already fulfilled and pre-filled with a lot of emotional glitches, so that makes you struggle to come out of it even for yourself. In that state, you can't heal others. Got it? If you want to be a, a successful healer, then my suggestion is the first balance your liver and gallbladder. Either it should not increase your wind with a lot of stress and sore foods. At the same time, it should not decrease and reduce your thoughts and delay your thoughts and slow down your mind. Because that leads to a, a some loneliness and depression in the later stages. It's completely liver weakness. Overall, they're in depression. Nobody else is responsible. It's you, yourself. You weakened your liver with either food or emotion, either something else. Clear? So now onwards, give importance to your food. Sore food should be eaten very, very, very less amount. How much pickle you add into the food? Very minimal. The food is this much. How much pickle? This much. That much wind is required. But you are adding this much of lemon and tamarind and a lot of kacha mangoes and all. So that simply weakens your liver and it will trigger unnecessarily. The hyperactive liver, one day it leads to the indeficiency. So later indeficiency becomes uh, in acts on the yang. The yang will be less. Then you end up with chronic disorders. Yes, your overthinking, excessive thinking is completely responsible of your liver and gallbladder. All have you understood this? If you are in wind is deficient or excess, try to balance with your food and emotions only. Don't overload your liver because liver which is controlling your entire muscular system. The liver is hyperactive or hypoactive, you end up with the muscular disorders. If it is hypoactive, hyperactive, you end up with joint pains and body pains. If it is hypoactive, you end up with the muscular stiffness. Both are both is not good. Insomnia is also excess of wind. When you get sleep, when you're calm and relaxed, so that you are reducing blood circulation to the edge. But when wind is too high, you're not giving enough time and relaxation to mind. Continuously with wind energy, you are supplying more and more energy to the mind. Obviously, even if you go to the bed also, you wait, you awake and you think and you get continuous thoughts. Of course, a lot of electronic gadgets also influencing more. 
don't take uh, mobiles to your bed. Because before going to bed, at least half an hour before, you should slow down your mind. The best thing is to read something. You listen to the slow music. I hope you understood this. How the wind which influencing your mind and your emotions. So we'll make a, one small meditation to slow down the energy flow to the mind so that it can go to zero state easily. We can reduce this wind with simple small meditation so that you can create more powerful thought by taking your mind to zero. Shall we go do that now? So all of you just switch off your lights, just calm, relax. Relax. All of you, gently close your eyes. Concentrate between two eyebrows. Just get into the darkness. Stay there. Stay there. Just enter into the zero state where nothing, no imaginations. Just you, your mind into nothingness. In this state of Shunya, your thoughts are getting power to create. Just strengthen your thoughts, staying in, it, in this nothingness. Stay there. Close the nothingness. So stay there. Being in the darkness. You can experience the power of zero state. Stay there.
relax mind body In this chill state, you can create a thought to heal somebody, to create something. Stay there. Pause the energy in this chill state. Relax. Stay into deep darkness. Stay there. Relax. Mind and body completely light, no weight, so with zero thought and zero weight. Just enjoy the lightness of your body and mind. Stay, stay in that situation, stay there and relax. Slowly, you can come back to Agna Chakra and stay there for a while. Whenever you are comfortable, you can get back to real world. If you feel comfortable, in the state of zero, stay there. Mm -hmm. 
relax. Relax. Strengthen your thoughts by taking, staying your mind in the nothingness state. Stay there and relax. back to the world, real world and just have five minutes break time just stay if you're comfortable in the zero state stay there and we'll be back in 10 minutes Hello friends, hope that you all are enjoyed this zero state of meditation. Come back to the real world. Come back. We think that this is the best time to inform you about the new session in the coming week, coming weekend. Basara sir is agreed to give the very special session that is 
single point acupressure therapy. Actually, by doing this single point acupressure therapy, you will get the result within 24 hours. Actually, he's giving this course. I think it is around 10,000 to 20,000 rupees he's charging. Now he's agreed to Yoshi's sir to give this on free of course basis. All are requested to attend this course the coming weekend, the same time, 8 to 10. Hope that you will share this details of the class among your friends group also. You will get all the details from the Joshi Skilla group. If you are not a member in the Joshi Skilla group, you can just search Joshi Skilla group in Telegram app. Then you can find that group and you can simply join there. Otherwise, you can add your friends by using the group link also. Thank you. Thank you all. Hello friends, it seems to be uh, so many are uh, leaving this classroom. Actually, this is only a break. So I will be back within uh, five minutes. Please be on the Zoom.
Yes, Jyoti, you can unmute and talk. Lot of anxiety, fear, and insomnia. Jyoti? Sir, there is a one patient last uh, since the last seven, eight years, same problem is uh, uh, with her. Uh, in uh, during periods she can't uh, um, can't uh, any work can't uh, concentrate anything uh, lot of anxiety lot of uh, fear and when uh, her children become sick uh, her anxiety goes uh, uh, at a higher peak uh, she uh, she become restless and uh, insomnia also is her problem uh, sir, I applied uh, PW5 uh, physician and GB41, but no result at all. Okay. So headache, all uh, headache is coming in the side or in the middle or in the forehead? Sir, sometime, sir, sometime frontal, sometime backside, uh, sometime whole head. Um, okay. Continuous okay. position um, uh, is changing. Uh, are you a TM student? No, sir. No. Are you acupuncturist? No, sir. I am a healer and a sujo therapist. Naturopath yoga trainer. Okay. You do one thing. You are, if you are a sujo therapist, means in the middle uh, finger, back of the, just below the nail, there is a one point, UB64. UB64. Sedation, sir? Methi, dana? Yeah. Methi ought to apply only 10 minutes. Okay. UB because she is getting a headache during uh, menses means the menses and uterus and ovaries is uh, controlled by urinary bladder. Okay. Okay. So if you are, uh, for example, you are getting a headache when you go to sunlight or when you are in crowd, then you have to go with GB41. Okay. But your case is the, uh, they are getting a headache during the period's time. Okay, so sir. definitely it is the UB is responsible for that. Just apply 10 minutes UB 64. Uh, next time onwards, they won't get pain. Even if it's from the 10 years also, it will disappear in 10 days. And sir, what else for anxiety, severe anxiety? It will take and care everything. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, but one thing I want to uh, tell you, uh, she has removed the gallbladder in 2014. So, gallbladder is again associated with emotions, no? No, our... no, no. Uh, see, the, today I explained about how liver and gallbladder are influencing your mind. So, like that, in upcoming sessions, I will explain all other uh, organs and meridians, how it is related, okay? okay Even okay. Uh, you be also responsible for that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Sir, sir good evening. Dr. Sundar Ola from Gurgaon. Yes, Surender, how are you? Fine, sir, fine. Thank you very much. So I sent you my Nadi Sura report also in the morning mm. regarding yeah. my problem of, of yeah. muscles and flush. Uh, today, from uh, early morning, 7 o'clock to till now, I am in class, lab, clinic. I can now, understand, sir. I can understand. Only thing sorry, which I uh, want to add finish, today is... Uh, once I finish this class... I will go through all your details along with Nadi Swara. I will give you one proper uh, protocol. Okay. Sir, just I want to add one more thing, which yes. I forgot in that board. That is my gallbladder is uh, full of stones. It is distended fully. Okay. That I could not mention in that. That you please take care when you are going through all the details. Sure, I will take care. You sent the Nadi Swara report, no? Yes, sir, I have sent it. Details sure. also I have given in that. So I thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Please bestow your extension. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, today's session was very nice. Like uh, yesterday, I complained about my headache. But today, I, uh, I really felt relaxed as compared to yesterday. Uh, I had a mild headache during that uh, meditative session, but now it feels relaxed and very lighted. Uh, thanks for that. 
And I had a so query regarding release. Uh, it's a small, small block. It just get released once you practice the uh, zero state of meditation. Okay. Uh, so I had a query regarding my friend. She's uh, at present. She is facing a lot of sleeping issues. Like the whole day and night, uh, she feels like to be very sleepy. Mm -hmm. uh, and like. After every hour, she uh, she feels like to sleep while reading, while doing any work. And there are some kinds of, uh, like, uh, some stomach issues are also there. Uh, so, uh, reason and that uh, is unable to be diagnosed. Stomach issues, miss? What is the issues? Uh, sir, uh, like, uh, she, she complained about... Uh, getting pee again and again like two uh, twice or thrice uh, whenever she eats she feels like to pee off do you want to for urination again and again okay uh, your voice is not clear hello is it yes. clear sir now yes tell me yeah Although she is a very overthinker, but uh, th then again, the uh, whole day she is sleeping. Okay, you you do one thing. Today or tomorrow, you just press uh, K10 acupuncture point 20 times. Okay, sir. Okay. Fine. She'll be fine in a week or 10 days. Uh, so uh, so just, uh, just pressing or uh, I need to put some methi dana or something like that? No, no, nothing. In the both the legs, just press the K10 acupuncture point 20 times, 20 times. That's it. K10? Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good so, evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, while you're meeting, I'm getting pain and irritation, sir. What's the acupuncture point? While urination? I'm getting pain, sir. Pain and irritation. Pain and irritation. Just apply green color uh, line here. Left hand, uh, four finger. Four fingers? Yes. In index finger, sir? Yeah, index finger. Left hand, index finger. Oh. Just apply. Okay. Okay. Only in the left hand, sir, not in the right hand. No, no, no. Only in the left hand. Okay, the bottom line. Yes. What is acupressure point in the acupressure point? Mm, pressure point. You can uh, press this number point 20 okay. times. 20 days. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Just press uh, today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Only three days. Okay, sir. It will be normal. That's also only in the right hand. Left hand, sir. Left and right, both. Both. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, yes. Um, my um, I am uh, diabetic and uh, I had cancer and uh, my large intestine is removed. Nowadays I am having hernia also, and I get pressure uh, in the uh, lower uh, uh, when the stool is passed. There, their stitches are there, and there I feel hernia is going that side also. And I don't get sleep till three o'clock in the night, and my uh, fingers also get uh, stiff, and uh, even uh, of, of the foot and uh, as well as uh, hands or fingers, I get stiffness and pain in the right leg. The right leg. And don't get sleep till midnight. What is your anger? Gas problem is there, gastric problem. How is, is your it anger? Is hernia? Yeah, yeah. You need a uh, little moisture in the body. Just take uh, one musambi juice around uh, 11 o'clock for uh, two days. For how many days? Two days. Two, two days. Yes. <laughs> Only that is for enough. Enough. You can what see about the, the stiffness in the uh, foot and uh, um, fingers and a uh, whole uh, right leg? See all get these things. Pain. Get it pain when I get into bed, I get pain. You can apply one pepper seed 
here left hand left hand left middle, hand. middle finger towards index finger okay okay apply only 10 minutes uh, uh, black paper yes. black paper yes thanks a lot thank thanks you hello sir yes sir it was nice learning from you sir thank you yeah sir okay sir my problem is my hemoglobin is 5.8 sir and the doctors have recommended for the blood transfusion but i am refusing for the same so please can you help out definitely can you show your tongue just a minute yes if show your tongue Hmm, lot of diverse studies. Okay, then. Hmm. Okay. And they will start means from tomorrow might be starting iron injections. How is your sleep? Sorry. How is your sleep? Not better, sir. Hardly can sleep for three hours. Three hours. So you do one thing uh, because cramping or uh, irritation starts in my legs, so I'm not able to sleep so nicely. Okay. Uh, daily, uh, weekly, two times or three times, add uh, palak in your uh, diet. After okay, sir. Afternoon, drink one glass of buttermilk. Okay, sir. And eat fifteen to twenty uh, dry grapes. So that already I am having from last fifteen days, sir. Any it's all things. All these things you are adding. Any changes? No, actually, last week when I gone again for this uh, test, it was uh, hemoglobin became six point four, but again it came to five point eight, sir. Because I think I have stopped taking the medicine Texa Orange. The doctor has recommend me, but from two to last two to three days, I have stopped that thing. So that might be the reason, sir. You do? Are you acupuncturist? I know, sir, but I know something, not much. Okay, I will mark and show. Just wait. Okay, sir. Do one thing. Yes, sir. Just above the line, as I shown you. Okay, sir. Is it visible that uh, dot? Yes, this sir. Part? Yeah. Just yeah. apply the methi seed for ten minutes. Just okay, above sir. this line. Just above this line. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. This point okay. name is stomach forty two. St forty two. S sorry, St forty two. Yes. Okay, sir. One chart. It is available in Joshi Kerala group. Okay, sir. You can uh, just apply methi seed there and uh, mm. check your blood after three or four days. It will be increased. Okay, for ten minutes, right, sir? Just only ten minutes. And in both the hands, sir? No, one hand only. Only left hand. Yes. Left Don't hand index. Left hand middle finger, right, sir? Yes, left hand middle finger. Don't take tea, coffee, spices, ginger, pepper, garlic, chicken, egg. All this uh, the food which creates heat. Don't take. Okay, sir. I'm not taking all these things, sir. Every day afternoon, eleven o'clock, you take uh, one musambi juice, sweet lime. Okay. And around one one thirty, you take buttermilk. Okay, sir. Uh, night while cooking dal, just add a little palak uh, green. In in the evening, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. It will increase. If not, yeah, we have to test you there thoroughly. Uh, which city you stay? Sir, Mumbai, sir. Yeah, in Mumbai, there's a lot of uh, uh, Nadiswara uh, uh, healers are there. 
So okay. then, uh, in Joshi Kada group, you can take the contacts who are staying in uh, Mumbai and uh, just get it done one Nadiswara report so that you can get clear idea. So what is the root cause for it? Okay, actually, sir, I was having uh, three for three months. I was having non-stop uh, bleeding. So till uh, your bleeding is stopped right now. Yeah, right now it is okay, sir. Don't worry, madam. It will take two to three weeks. We will solve. But it's uh, there is uh, no need to blood transfusion, sir. No, because <laughs> doctors are uh, insisting. I have gone for three diagonals, and all the doctors are telling for the same thing, sir. They learn that they suggest. Sorry, it's sir. Not, they learn that they are suggesting that it's not wrong. <laughs> okay. Only okay. thing is, it's your confident. We, I am confident. We will do it. If you okay, are sir. confident, you follow it and get results. Yeah, sir. I am confident, sir. Okay. Sir, best. can you please share your number, sir? Uh, it's there in uh, Joshi Kerala group. Or else I written uh, in the. I just wrote in the chat box. Uh, if you want, uh, you can consult for online consultation. There okay, we do sir. detailed diagnosis and treatment. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank Hello, sir. Hello, madam. Uh, sir, uh, I don't eat uh, sour food or uh, uh, the, the things which you have uh, said just now for liver. Uh, but I uh, often I don't get sleep at night i go on thinking and thinking and uh, and i have a severe uh, knee pain and uh, heel nowadays i can't wake up i can't uh, lift, lift, um, uh, stand up on my foot uh, in the morning there is uh, too heel pain too much heel pain Okay. And uh, severe. I uh, every two or two three days, I uh, goes. Um, I can't sleep. Uh, my thoughts are going on uh, occurring. One or thing, another things. I go on thinking. I can't sleep properly, and I don't uh, eat all this. What you have described just now for liver, uh, get disturbed. You are taking hybrid wheat, no? To hybrid? Make... No, no, no. Then what you eat daily? I I eat wheat, but it's not hybrid. It is uh, it is coming from our farmhouse. Okay, make sure that they see bread. Yeah, it is they see. What is the last point you treated? Oh uh, yeah, I am uh, liver two. I have done. Mm, yeah. How many days forward? Uh, it is uh, one uh, one week suppose one week. It's too too much paining. My leg is uh, my knees are too much paining. I can't walk properly. <laughs> And uh, nowadays in the morning, I get heel pain. If I get up in the morning and I keep my leg uh, down, I can't uh, stand up for two to three minutes. Afterwards, it's okay. Heel pain will come down after liver three. It didn't come down. Huh? Normally, after liver two, heel pain will come down. Any changes? Okay. No. No, yeah. but it's still I have got very severe knee pain. Okay. I want to do something for my thoughts. I can't control my thoughts at night. I don't sleep whole night. Can you share, uh, show your tongue? Yeah. Just I had have a I had dinner. Just now I had dinner. It will. Oh, is it okay? Okay. Okay. Show sure. just a small. Uh, just for reference. Yeah. Open your video. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah, mm. and liver heat. Fine, clear. You do one thing. Uh, you can just make a L eleven sedation. It'll be fine. L eleven sedation. Okay. Yeah. Update me after a week. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, Sundari from US. I have a question, sir. Um, I, I, you mentioned you use the color mark, right? So which marker I should? I yesterday I used the, you know, I used the regular color marker, and then after half an hour or something, it's fade away. So you want me to use the permanent one, or no, is it okay? Don't use permanent. Just a, a marker pen which normally kids are using for okay. painting. Okay. So, so if even if it is fade away, you want me to apply it again, or? Yeah, just maintain two to three hours. That's enough. It's the same color, right? Yes. 
Okay. And I have another question, sir. I have a varicose vein. Do you recommend any treatment for that? Mm. Varicose veins is uh, indicating muscular weakness. Just strengthen your muscles, do some physical activity. And okay. uh, weekly once you just take yellow pumpkin juice. Yellow pumpkin juice. Okay. That's enough. Okay, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yes, tell me. Hello. Hello. So can you hear? Hello. Yes. Hello. So, so can you hear me, sir? Yes, tell me. Uh, so, sir, I'm 46 year old male, sir. I have got uh, uh, chondromalacia patellia in both my knees, sir. And uh, for last last eight to ten years, and, and I have got a lot of problem while uh, coming upstairs or going downstairs. So. Okay, any witness? Okay, uh, any other symptoms? Uh, symptoms though, I have got a lot many problems in my body, sir, from head to toes. Sir. I've got uh, high frequency node mm -hmm. hearing loss. I have got uh, fissure problem. I have got uh, back problem. I have uh, flat fit also. Though I'm an army, but I have got a lot many problem. I thought this was the uh, the uh, problem of knees was to quite a lot. That is why I thought which I should discuss knee problem today. So. I thought uh, by all other uh, seeing other problems, uh, the fluids are going down in the whisper. So, do you know some acupuncture points? If I tell, can you able to apply? Just apply one methi seed here. Clear? Apply one methi seed on the black dot as shown here. Okay. Apply only 10 minutes, only one time. Just wait for one week. Thank you. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, doctor Basaraj. Good evening, uh, sir. Uh, I'm uh, I'm asking question for my sister. Uh, it's 82 years old. And yesterday she went for some function and there had a khana and all this. When came back, she felt uh, feverish and chilling and all this thing. And and today her BP it didn't stop and BP also came down. I gave a black uh, uh, color over all the fingers. And uh, the thing, and still uh, shivering is not stopped. And I gave when the BPS come down, I gave P six also tone. Still, it is not coming uh, coming up. She is with you now. No, she is in Hyderabad. I am in Pune. Okay, you just send her one point. Uh, point name is a liver two. Acha, okay. Here. I know. Okay. Liver two, I know. On yes. original or uh, bio. Biol meridian is sufficient. Just apply one methi seed only for 10 minutes. Okay. She'll be fine by morning. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Sir. Hello. Sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, Anis Sami. Yes, yeah, sir. Good evening. Sir. Good evening. Tell me. Sir, uh, I'm a sujok therapist. And I have a daughter, 16 year old, and she's having bedwetting problem. But till now, it's not cured. How can you help me with this person? Uh, it takes uh, hardly one month to cure. We'll do it. It will take one month? Yeah, it will take one, uh, one month or less than that. We will clear it. I shared uh, the phone number in the WhatsApp, in the chat box. You can make online consultation. If okay. you are able to take now, just show the tongue picture of first so that I can take and check and uh, give you the point. Which one was it? If you are able to show our tongue image, I'll check and give you the point. Okay, sir. Just a second.
Hello. One second, sir. One second, sir. Good evening, sir. One minute. I'll solve the problem. Good evening, sir. Just a minute. Okay. Sir? Yes. Uh, shall I show it on video, sir? Yeah, just show. Yeah, just a minute, sir. It's not working. Just one minute, one minute sir. Shall I share it on group, sir? I am not able to switch on the video. Just a second. You share, I'll, I'll check and send you the point. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you, sir. So thank you very much. And meet you next Friday evening, 8 o'clock. So thanks for attending the class. And, uh, see you soon. Good night. Thank sir, you, sir. My question. Yes. Sir, a question. My right leg is very much pain. He is taking the leg to the foot. काफी काली काली बेंस हो गई हैं उसका कोई ट्रीटमेंट बताइए इस 36 इयर्स ओल्ड या इट्स नॉट गोस विद वन पॉइंट यू हैव टू ट्रीट विद मल्टीपल थिंग्स बट यू कैन स्टार्ट विद द केथरी टोनिफिकेशन एंड बट विच टोनिफिकेशन केथरी केथरी तो वो कौन सा पॉइंट होगा किडनी थ्री किडनी थ्री तो कहाँ पे आएगा जी बता सकते ह� End of the line. Okay. Okay, fine. Middle middle finger pe? Middle finger pe end of the line. Okay. Towards ring finger. So it's a very close veins happens due to uh, lack of strength in the veins. So you have to strengthen the veins means you have to raise the young energy. So of course it won't happen with one meridian or one point. So it takes a multiple effort. It may take around the three to six months time. So we can okay. start later. You can consult us. Thank you very much. Good night. So, Bilko, completely cure ho jayega je? Completely cure ho jayega? Yeah, that's what I told you. You can cure completely, but how much time it takes it depends on individual patient. Okay. 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 Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, my cough got cured due to your treatment. Hello, sir. Your voice is not audible. Hello, sir. Vishwanath, ready? Sir, my cough got cured due to your treatment. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You are, you are fine now? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, my dad is getting shivering at this point, sir. In Pain the... you are getting? This shivering. Is... Shivering? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sir, I am getting shivering on this area. Okay. Which point you applied today? Uh, I... I applied it. Little, uh, uh, yeah, fine. This will take care. Just wait for two, three days. It will go off. Okay. Okay. Or else, if you feel little bit uh, is there, you can make uh, left hand index finger. You can make uh, one uh, sky blue color. I can get you, sir. Can you repeat it again? Just apply one sky blue dot in the left hand index finger below the nail. Sir, can we apply it now, sir? Because already he, he took the treatment three days back only from you. I given to yesterday only. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Day before yesterday. Yeah. Just wait two days. It will go. Or else you just apply sky blue. Okay. Okay. Yes. By applying sky blue color, it increases the blood circulation and it creates the shivering. Sir, thank you so much, sir. My, my daughter is so happy. She's enjoying the lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. This is Manjula. Good evening. Sir, mm -hmm. I have a problem with eyesight and uh, weight, sir. So I want remedy for the nearsightedness, also farsightedness. Also. That's becoming very inconvenient for me, like always irritating. Okay. Uh, how is your sleep? Uh, I can't sleep for too much, sir. Like uh, four, hardly four, five hours of sleep I have. How is your anger? Uh, pardon, sir? How is your anger, appetite? Uh, sir, uh, not that much, sir. Like if I eat little also, I'll feel full. Well, yes. Fine. Uh, I don't have much urge to eat. Huh? I don't have much urge to eat, sir. Are you an acupuncturist? No, sir. Okay. I'm a healer, sir. Pranic healer. Pranic healer. You do one thing. Uh, you can just apply uh, left hand uh, index, uh, index finger below the nail, sky blue. And below right. the ring finger, uh, uh, orange. Below the ring finger, orange, sir. Orange color and sky blue color. Daily two hours you apply for at least two to three weeks. Okay, sir. Okay. And I am uh, I have much, gained much weight also, sir, like seventy seven kgs. Like, this will uh, increase your body young energy, and uh, it will help you to reduce the weight. For eyesight also, it will help. Sir. Yeah, it will help, but uh, I'm not telling it's completely hundred percent. It will start your trigger your healing. Later, you can take uh, some other sessions. You can uh, add. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Okay, good night. Thank you very much, Basara, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's, it was a very wonderful session, the energy healing, which will help all the healers to heal your patients, even in distant or in your nearby, whatever. Uh, so we are once again, thank you, sir. Thank you all participants. And we hope that all will be present uh, on next Friday, Saturday and Thursday also. That's, oh, sorry, Friday, Saturday and Sunday for uh, one point acupressure, the single point acupressure therapy. It would be, uh, it will give you the results in 24 hours time. So you all are welcome. You all are, should attend this session also. Thank you. And in between, uh, we will conduct more uh, free sessions. So be in the Joshi Skerla group. You will get the notification as we can arrange the sessions. Thank you. Thank you all. Good night.